hey welcome back so thank you for taking time to watch another module of microsoft 365 fundamentals so right now we are in module 3 which is security compliance privacy and trust in microsoft 365 we're going to talk about identity and access management we just finished security features in microsoft 365 in this module we're going to deeply talk about identity and access management after this lesson you should be able to describe the basic features of Azure AD and explain Azure AD identity protection as well. Identity is the primary supporting pillar in any security system. You must be able to identify users and devices before you can determine the level of access or privilege that they have. You can establish identity through user and device accounts. If you subscribe to any Microsoft online business services, for example, Office 365 or Intune, you automatically get Azure AD with access to all of the free features. The Azure AD premium tier provide additional functionality over the free and basic editions. However, premium editions might require additional cost depending upon the Microsoft Cloud subscription level. Azure AD comes in two versions, one is P1 and another one is P2. The following features which I'm going to explain now is part of Azure AD P1. The first one is self-service group management. This simplifies the administration of groups where users are given the rights to create and manage group themselves. Secondly, advanced security reports and alerts. You can monitor and protect access to your cloud applications by viewing detailed logs that show advanced anomalies and inconsistent access pattern reports. Then comes the multi-factor authentication. A full MFA works with on-prem applications, Azure Office 365, Dynamics 365, and third-party Azure AD Gallery applications as well. It does not work with non-browser or off-the-shelf apps such as Microsoft Outlook. Microsoft Identity Manager or MIM licensing. MIM integrates with Azure AD Premium to provide hybrid identity solutions. MIM can span multiple on-prem authentication stores such as ADDS, LDAP, Oracle, and other applications with Azure AD. Password Reset with Whiteback is a self-service password reset follows the Azure AD on-prem password policy as well. Conditional access based on devices, group, and location. This feature lets you configure conditional access for critical resources based on multiple criteria. And finally, Azure AD Connection Health. You can use this tool to gain operational insight into Azure AD. It works with alerts, performance counters, usage pattern, and configuration settings to present the collated information in Azure AD Connect Health Portal. And finally, in addition to these Azure AD P1 features, Azure AD P2 license provide a number of advanced functionalities. The first one is Azure AD Identity Protection, which is P2 license. This feature provides enhanced functionalities for monitoring and protecting user accounts. You can define user risk policies and sign-in policies in addition, you can review users' behavior and flag users for risk as well. Azure AD Privileged Identity Management, this functionality lets you configure additional security level for privileged users such as administrators. With Privileged Identity Management, you define permanent or temporary administrators. You also define a policy workflow that activates whenever someone wants to use administrative privileges to perform some task. In addition to protecting resources such as devices, documents, and other critical type of data, it is necessary to protect the user identities as well. Many of today's successful cyber attacks are based on identity theft. This makes identity protection, particularly user accounts that have privileges, highly important for organization of all sizes. Each computer user today has typically at least five identity accounts from accessing different local or internet-based resources. For example, a typical user might have personal account with Microsoft, Google, or Apple for email, 
social accounts such as Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, uh, business accounts such as LinkedIn, etc. Azure AD Identity Protection is a Microsoft implementation of identity protection technology for users of Office 365 and other Microsoft Cloud services. Azure AD Protection provides you with the ability to proactively recognize potential security risk and identify vulnerabilities in your organization. It can automatically apply responses and actions when suspicious activity on one or more identities is detected. It can properly investigate incident and take actions and resolve them. And finally, it can protect emails and documents by automatically applying classification and labels as well. And that concludes lesson three, which is identity access and management. I'm sure now you will be able to describe the basic features of Azure AD and explain what is Azure AD identity protection as well. In the next video, we are going to see the fourth lesson, which is devices and information protection. So let's have a look at the lesson four. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care.